Yet again, uh, Switch Fest. Switch Fest next month, you know, that comes up uh, August 29th. Yeah. Or, or sorry, uh, August 31st to September 1st. So, and it's looking like to be, um, looking to be an S tier. Really? Uh, just, well, I mean, just the talent that's coming out. I mean, we don't know, like, the PGR is not fully revealed, but right. a lot of really, really good players are coming to Switch Fest. This is good that way. I mean, like, when I think of S tiers, I think of Evo, I think of Genesis, I think of Smash Con. So when I see Switch Fest, I feel like, yeah, that's, a, that's an A tier for sure. But, like, S tier? Like, right after Evo 2? Like, damn. Dude, you're definitely planning to bring out the. Uh, the talent out to that one. Dude, so. rolling the red carpet and everything, you throwing the nine yards. Yeah, you already know, man. All right, so um, Snake Luigi is probably going to be the matchup here for us. Oh, yeah. Yeah, again, both of these characters. I feel like Luigi plays the more explosive game. You know, he, he grabs you at zero, and all of a sudden you're dead. But I feel like Snake is heavy enough, and he has a grenade that's just like, if you're not frame perfect, you're not getting that combo. Yeah, yeah, the frame one grenade. Yep. Yeah, very much so big deal. I mean, Snake is like somewhat combo food because of like his weight. Right. Uh, but having a frame one out is something not a lot of characters have. Right. So and you know what? He, a lot of like good Luigi's make it like really hard to like challenge the recovery, even though it's like it's relatively bad. The Snake is basically I I win edge guarding by pressing a single button or two buttons at once, and then like I have a missile that just destroys you off stage. Yeah, the Nikita, I, I feel like it's going to be a... Oh, whoa. That killed pretty early, honestly, for someone as heavy as Snake. I know PS2 doesn't have the highest ceilings, and it was just surprising because Kong Kong had no rage as well. Right. I mean, I, that's one way to start winners' finals. I mean, yeah, I feel like that, that stock just got obliterated. And, you know, you know, Kong Kong, when he starts feeling himself, he gets super, like, I'm not going to do anything that will get me punished. So I'm just going to sit back Are and you watch saying it. he camps? Are you seeing this gameplay right now? <laughs> Are you saying this isn't camping? Or is he definitely. not rolling out the marshmallows? Definitely camping right now. Oh, he didn't get the Nair. Wow, very surprising drop from Kong Kong. You know what's crazy, too, on that first stock? When he was he, when he did his biggest string, it was uh, two grenades were already out. Right. And that's, uh, that's, that's, that's like I'm going ham on you because you can't pull a grenade because there's already two grenades out. And so one of them explodes, you can't pull another. Right. And yet again, you know, like you were saying earlier, you know, a lot of Luigi's bread and butter combos are not, like, frame tight, so yeah again, AC can kinda just like explode out of them, but he still does take extra damage from that, so it's gotta be like, is it worth it at a certain point? Yeah, and the fireballs will detonate grenades. Fire fire does detonate grenades, so you know Smash is a very realistic game. But we we out here, fireballs are gonna be a really good tool against the grenades here. Yeah, yeah Kong Kong's big chilling bro. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, why why approach when you have three different projectiles in the form of a uh, fireball there on on a, a, a short hop, which gets the plunger and then like grab on the ground, which like covers like any like I'm gonna punish you for doing something on the ground. Yeah, for sure. And look at that, and that that Zare actually detonated a grenade too, from a really good spot. But the anti aerial coming out, the up tilt for AC will seal out that first stock. Wow, and look, you're talking about that range grab, man. It, it can definitely come in clutch in those mid-range situations, especially when Snake has a grenade pulled out because he's scared of the grenade, too. You know what I mean? Like, oh, yeah. he, he's kind of, like, almost forcing the shield. Like, he can do other stuff, but uh, it's a great tool to have for Snake. Honestly, like, I feel like that, that grab is probably one of the best grabs in the game. It's so unpunishable. You can use it as a projectile, and, like, it just works so well with Luigi. Because before, like, yeah, he could get the zero to death if he grabs you, but like if you had a, a sword character that could like wall him out, like he was never gonna get that grab, not really, you know? Right. Or, right. or he might get it, but like after he inflicts like twenty percent in that bot point, like he's not gonna get the zero to death. But now, because of the tether range on that, it's just like you have to respect his grab range, because uh, he can just grab you from like a whole platform away, basically. Yeah, I mean the biggest con is uh it's like almost not usable out of shield because of it being a tether. But right. I mean, like just in general, tether grabs are just not that great anymore. I Whoa, mean, we got the mix up. Though. I mean, who needs a grab when you got a Shoryuken that does 30% and kills at 60? Yeah, true. And you can be reverse it now in this game. Oh yeah, a super big deal. And man, Kong Kong's still up an entire stock with AC racking up this damage to grab, but the right. get off me, man. Yeah. I got the hits on deck. 
Like, I, I know your game plan. And, ooh, just not paying attention to the to the C4 right there and just going to explode through the platform right there. Oh, yeah. And oh. catches him up high. And yet again, AC not drifting up far enough away to avoid the tornado. Yeah, really good call out, honestly, from ConCon. A lot of people in pressured situations, they feel like they're forced to jump. Right. And uh, ConCon just pretty much with the baller high, hard read on the uh, high jump there and taking him off the top with the down B. All right, so going into game number two, see if we get a stage switch up. I didn't, I didn't see what stage. It looks like uh, probably going to see the same characters. I mean, we might see AC switch to uh, Meta Knight, but I think, uh, I think Snake's a very good character against uh, right. Luigi. Definitely, like if it's a complete blowout, he might throw in the Meta Knight. But you know what? It, it, it was doing okay for the most part. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Plunger. Oh, well, that is, that was thrown out there. Yeah. I mean, if it was a bait, that was a really risky bait, if I have to say. He probably wanted to fall through the platform in back air mm -hmm. uh, and grab the grenade at the same time. That's usually what I see snakes do in that situation. Pretty solid option, too, because you're throwing out a really good hitbox, you low silhouette after, and you have a grenade in hand. So it's like, oh, if you want to punch me, like I'll take this grenade trade all day. And you know what? Luigi kind of implementing that uh, good grenade into his combo, you know, it, he was able to uh, extend his uh, fair because normally the fair is it, and then he threw the grenade on top of it, and he almost got even in more extension off of it, but opting not to go any further in case Snake pulled out another grenade. But gets the edge guard off stage too. Yeah, very aggressive edge guard. Uh, usually you'll see Luigi's opt for the down air in that situation, wait for the cipher, right. go for the down air. But Kong Kong just hit him with the. I bet you're not expecting this one though. You know what? AC kind of hitting this, like, I'm going to throw out all these missiles, and eventually one of them will hit. Oh, what? or you're going to come into my loving legs right. and get that up tilt. Oh, oh, snake no. marking his territory right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's like we're on Discovery Channel. Yeah. Smash Planet. Shouts right. to Sav Savannah. Oh, my God. As the snake marks his territory <laughs> with this up tilt, <laughs> he asserts his dominance over the poor Luigi. Yeah. Marking his territory with grenades and down on this platform. This platform is mine. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you try to interfere with my airspace? Little did you know that this airspace is mine. Up tilt. Yep. yep. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay. Uh, all the kinds of crazy trades going on. What is going on, man? Oh, we got the double forward smash. Tried to get the up beat, but you are going to get punished for that, sir. The up tilt will follow here for AC. Oh, and the the grenade. Grenade. he broke out of it. That would have been death, too. Oh, for sure. Now AC just hanging under this platform. Oh, man, you're taking so much damage, Con Con. And you know what? That dash attack, I feel like that dash attack for Luigi is kind of like a snake dash attack where, like, it does a lot of damage. It kills. But, like, if you whiff it on shield, then you're going to eat a really big punish off of it. Oh, yeah, for sure. Okay, Mr. Kong Kong gonna get this stock. And look at this just falling down with all these explosives and the up tilt. What a solid turnaround. Kong Kong started off that second game so strong with a huge, huge opener. Got a very early stage spike, but AC just would not die. I mean, he wouldn't die, and you know what? You can you see that Kong Kong wanted to land, but AC is just like, this airspace is mine. You are not landing above me. You are not landing in front of me. You are not landing behind me. You are not landing without eating another hit. Yeah, up tilt. Up tilt, grenades, Nikita, he, everything was hitting him. He definitely hit a lot of up tilts that game. Yeah, it's all like <laughs> for shizzle. All right, so we got Kalos coming in. Very big stage to work with. Um, yeah, I mean, almost kind of like a Final Destination-esque stage. Obviously, the platforms are very different, but they're very far from the center. Right. So. I feel like, um, excluding town, uh, this is probably the closest stage you can get to Final Destination. Right? Yeah. Definitely, like, both characters can kind of use that platform to, you know, as another source of recovery, basically. Because both their recoveries are very linear, so if they have another platform to retreat to on stage, you know, they might want to opt to go for that instead of going for the ledge. But reading that dash attack and getting the forward smash out of it, can he get the down beat? No, not going to be able to find it in time. Yeah, very slow game here starting off. But AC racking off the damage. Ooh, no tech. That will be the dash attack to follow. Like that airspace, like you said, controlling with that up tilt. AC, these normals coming up from Snake are so, so powerful. 
that's the scariest thing. When, when, when Snake be walking up to you with a grenade, you're like, I don't want to attack you. But then he grabs you, and you're like, oh. All these trades in favor of AC pretty much. And, and oh, wow. War Bear and you know, that will clean out the stock. Well, that trade was worth it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> with, especially with the sweet spot. And now Kong Kong not paying attention either, but you no, know, manages to avoid that. He gets the grab at zero. Is this going to be it? Nope. No. Too much rage. But yeah. he, I mean, he gets 70 off of it. That's still amazing. 80, 70, amount. 80. Oh, my God. 80, oh. 90, he's dead. Wow. 89, 90, 95, 100, he's <laughs> gone. Hey, oh, no, Kong Kong living, though. Was that it? That, that was definite zero to death, right? Oh, yeah, that was definitely zero to death. Yeah, Kong Kong showing us what Luigi does best, man. Zero to the stock. True combo, or that wasn't true combo, but that I was mean, pretty like much like zero to 70 and then like a dank read. Right. Oh, wow, it was zero to, yeah, it was like zero to 70 and then like two good hits afterwards. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised he didn't go for the down throw, but you know what? He probably saw the grenade there and be like, I don't want to blow this up in my face. Yeah. yeah. Now, we've seen AC without the lead, so definitely a snake player that can do that. Ooh, right. dropping the grenade too. We're getting fancy up in here. Ooh, but gets punished with the dare out of shield, but you know what? It does a lot of damage, but it can't really follow up with anything else, so. You know, Kong Kong kind of escapes with uh, minimal damage right there. Oh, yeah. Okay, here's a grenade pressure. Right. Kong Kong knows he has the lead. He's chilling on this platform, but he's taking damage while doing it. So he's got to be careful. Sometimes, even if you have the lead, a uh, character can exert pressure without really committing. And that is definitely what AC's doing already. Hasn't touched the man, and has already dealt like pretty much 80 damage. Well, there we go. Zare connects. Right. Yet again, Kong Kong's just sitting by, waiting for his opportunity to sneak in. But... AC also sneaking in the back air right there, but gets the grenade, and no one not going to be able to find anything else. Uh, is there into dash tags and fully connect? Yeah. This should be it. Yeah. yeah. I, li I like how he went for the high recovery, so AC is just like, okay, I got to go low, and Kong Kong is like, psych, and then just fast hold it, and uh, double jump back air into him to get the kill. Yeah, yeah. And right there, like you said, he was so close to Kong Kong that going high wasn't as guaranteed safe, you know what I mean? Right. So there was definite mix-ups there because Kong Kong was in a position where it's like, oh, if you double jump Cypher here, like, I will back here you. Right. And if you go low, I'll back here you anyways. Yeah. And that's when it gets really easy to cover Snake's recovery. When you uh, get him to go low, that's right. where it's a lot more doable. Right. He still has air dodge off the Cypher, which is incredibly good. Mm -hmm. Something he did not have in Brawl. But, uh, but yeah. Going into this game, number four, Mr. Konkon is up 2-1 here. Grand Finals, Wednesday night fights, and Mr. Konkon is in the winner's side. So if he is able to take this game, he will bring it home first place. All right. And yet again, now Konkon is like one of those players in SoCal who's like, I feel like in that area, like 21, where like he's area good. 21. Area 21. Area 21. You know, <laughs> like cause we have we have a PR of only 20. So like. He's good. Everybody knows he can be like PR level, but like he just loses to that like one like random person, and, like but just barely like like barely misses the PR just because of those bad losses. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Definitely uh, not as consistent. He's, he's been pretty busy. I don't like to draw for people, but he said this is his last like summer of Smash. He he got into med school, so he really wants to practice really hard, going to Evo really strong, and then kind of retire. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. I mean, when you're going to med school, like... It's definitely not easy. Oh, yeah. Med school is not easy. So uh, definitely something that he worked really hard to get into. And, you know, with, when, when you're in there, you don't... Yeah. You're going to take it seriously. I mean, would you rather make, like, 10 bucks <laughs> off of Smash or make, like, 100000 being a doctor? Yeah, true. I mean, did you uh, did you hear that TK Breezy rap um, about being a Smasher and being broke? Dude, uh, it's so funny, bro. If, if none of you guys in the chat seen it, like, go watch it. It's so funny. Can relate on many levels. I mean, don't we play Smash because we're all like broke and it's like our one source of like entertainment that's like kind of like relatively cheap? Well, yeah, but there's definitely other esports that are free to play games or like not expensive to play. You know all what right. I mean? Smash is definitely poverty esports, bro. Oh, for yeah. sure. I mean, in terms of like, in terms of like, Esports, yeah, it's definitely the most poverty. But in terms of like just general like recreation, like it's not that bad, you know. Like you're right, fifteen dollars like for like once a week, maybe thirty dollars a week. You know, I know people who spend a lot more doing like 
other things. Yeah, it, Smash gets expensive when you fly in off the tournament. That's oh, when yeah. Smash gets expensive. Then you got plane tickets and hotels right. and stuff, and if you don't got a sponsor, which not everyone has, you know, it, right. it can get really rough. I feel like you only do that, like, for the people that don't have a sponsor, they really only do that, like, once a year for, like, EVO or something. Right, right, right. And at sure. that point, it becomes, like, a, a vacation. It's definitely a, yes, it's definitely a for fun thing. Like, right. you're still going to compete and you're taking it very seriously, but it's you're definitely doing it more so for the overall, like, experience of the event. Right. I mean, you don't go by yourself. You never go by yourself. You always go with your homies and, like, your group of, like, like five or six in the car, and you just, like, Yo, have a good time and make an adventure though. out of it. Yeah, the carpools, those are always nice. Those are really fun. Dude, I don't know about you, but like I'm the guy that like I will pay for your gas. I'll pay for your housing if I do not have to drive at all. Driving is not fun. Dude. Dude, like I drove to Vegas and it was just like never again, never again. And oh, unfortunately, gonna send him off in the wrong direction. But he's trying to hit this Nikita too with the Nair. It's just not working. <laughs> I feel he so tried. Oh, he man, tried. This is he tried to make make it back, but. <laughs> You know what? <laughs> it doesn't matter. How many Nikitas was that? Like seven? Oh, no. That was like going in a double digits right there. <laughs> well, the Nikita Barrage working out. But wow, the grenade bailing him out of that down beat. But the back air to follow. Can Con Con close this out? I mean, yet again, Snake on zero. So, like, if he gets a grab, that's going to be 80%. That's halfway there. Yeah, and he has low rage. Right. So he might get the zero to death. Right. I mean, you, you can definitely SDI it, but... You never know, man. I know, I know people would say, like, oh, he's at 11%. He's out at kill percent. Well, Snake's a little bit heavy, so like, he might need that extra damage in order to like actually get the combo. Yeah, yeah, for sure. And that's why you see AC playing so safe. Look, straight right. to the platform, going out the grenade, always knowing that he has some kind of explosive to back him up. Right. And again, no so, so good burst options from AC right here just to kind of avoid getting grabbed, getting comboed right here. But you know what? Get text traits on the platform, and, you know, Kong Kong is just, like, Really making sure that he doesn't. Pull wow! I was going to say Kon Kon was going to do something safe so that he wouldn't get blown up in the face. But Kon Kon, why do you gotta make a liar out of me? He, I think he tried to up B out of shield, but he just did it too slow. I mean, maybe out of. Out it's of just hard to get that up B out of shield on Snake because I think he was a dash tag and he. Like, like per Snake propels himself so far. Right. So you got to be, sure. like, super quick on that. Right. And it wasn't sure, like, it can, it's one of those moves that can either cross up or not cross up, depending on, yeah. like, what the Snake wants to do. Well, there was the optimal punish. Oh, yeah. I'm surprised he had that much time to pull out forward smash, because that forward smash is so oh, up slow. Up B is very laggy. I like, mean, up B is very laggy, but it wasn't, like, dude, like it seven is. years of end lag laggy anymore. Like, it's actually, like, not... It's that. like six years. Now. It's like eh, like like <laughs> like five five years five years of end lag. <laughs> but like when you compare that to like the 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 four years of a setup for Take the forward man. smash, yeah. like yeah, like I'm I'm surprised. Like, did it take? Does it take him a year to like walk up to him? But yet again, Marion just finds the yuppie there. Okay, the so now we're here in a game five situation. You know, Kong Kong definitely wanted to close it out. 3-1, but now you're in this very stressful situation of game five. It's anyone's game. He can, you know, you can lose the set, but do you really want to go into another set with your opponent having that much momentum? Off the top, yes, it is. The down throw into the down B. A very, very nice kill setup for Luigi. Oh, yeah. You know, Kong Kong definitely trying to take this momentum as far as he can. You know, getting the fireball and getting the force match into Ooh. the combo with the grenade, too. Ooh, that was so much damage. Oh, get off me with that down B. Is he going to live? Yes, he is. Town City with the very, very high ceiling. Yet again, no. Oh, you wow. tried punishing him with jab because you know what? Too far away for up B, and no, grab is just too slow. Super spot dodge, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is oh, low recovery. Yeah, yep, and yet again, 10%. AC, how are you going to respond back to this? Uh, you yeah, like, I mean, Kong Kong's getting these hits and he's making them count. Oh yeah, uh, definitely something. Oh, the Z drop too. Okay, we got we got some we got some resets up in here. And yet again, oh, every percent that AC takes, this is his last stock potentially. But he gets stickied. You know, I'm surprised he didn't didn't just let it rip right there, hoping to break the shield. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's the plunger. Wow, interrupting that neutral air. Okay, Kong Kong. 
Uh, just chilling, man. He's, he's up an entire stock, and these platforms are positioned a lot higher, so it's harder for AC to pressure these platforms with the grenade. He can't really just lob them up there, you know? I right. like that. Go opting for the up smash instead of the up beam because it covers, like, both. If he crosses me up, he doesn't cross me up. No but, way. Oh. The grenade. Oh, it's oh that's so anticlimactic. Oh, but you already know, no, man. Concon's about it, bro. Yeah. He's just like, thank you, God. I'll take it any way yeah. I can get it, baby. He's back. Yep. Concon is back. Yep. Yeah, really good stuff to Mr. Concon, man. And oh. I mean, one thing that I'll say just in general that Elegant's better than Concon at is when Elegant does get in, he makes it count. Mm -hmm. And I feel like uh, Concon was doing that tonight. You know what right. I mean? Like you, you saw those those interactions where he finally gets in because he's got to like dip, weave, and dive through all these projectiles. Finally gets in and he just does so much damage and right. puts him in a disadvantage. Really, really makes those situations count. Yeah. I feel like the other thing that like Concon does really well is that he's able to kind of like get into a rhythm and force you to like follow his pace. Yeah. You know. Did you want to do the interview? Uh, no, you can do the interview. All right, all right, I got it, I got it. Well, it was a pleasure, Tempo. Thank all you right. very much for uh, commentating. Make sure you give him a follow at? Uh, Kono Tempo, K-O-N-O -O Tempo. There you go, man. Follow my man. He's out here on the commentary grind. All right, all right come on. Thank you, man. Good stuff, Connor. Shit. Yeah, you were playing very, very well. So, Mr. Concon's getting here for the interviews. Holy, I'm shaking. You are, I bet you are, man. That was game five. And especially how game four ended. That was game four. No, that was game five. Oh, that was game five. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit. Dude. Yeah, and the way, like, game four happened, too, I was just like, ooh, Cause that's... I, no, because the entire set, I'm like, I'm not going to punish his dash attack on shield until, like, no, yeah, until I have, like, game Right, like, you game just messed point. it up. I, I was yeah. gonna, I even, I brought that up on the stream, too. I was like, he could have punished it. But you just I did just it too wait. late. I was trying to do for last stock, and that was my thing. But I think he crossed up too far. Yeah. Oh my God, I'm so happy because that's my first tournament win. I, w I always get like super close. Congratulations, yeah, a, lot of, sir. a lot of locals, but this is my first tournament win, so it makes me feel good for Evo. Like, the thing about winning locals for me, if I win one, I get a really big confidence boost. So yeah. whenever, I, whenever I go anywhere, I'll just, I'll just like, I'll do really well, more than I usually do. I'm just so happy. Oh man, I feel like I played really good. You definitely did. I, I was actually saying on uh, stream, I was pointing out that, you know, I mean, the one thing that for you and Elegant, obviously we're going to compare the two Luigi's, right? Yeah. Um, you know, Elegant, when he gets in, he makes it count really hard, but I think you have better neutral. That's like how I usually, uh, yeah. you know, compare you two. But tonight, when you got in, you definitely made it count. Like your yeah. punish game was really, really on point. I, I'm four Red Bulls in, dude. <laughs> I'm four red. This is That's probably unhealthy, very bro. unhealthy, but red. For some reason, when I drank like when I was like already three or th two or three <laughs> in, my reaction is on point. My thinking on point. My reading, like instinct, everything. Like nice, nice. Like I felt good, and I think I'm just gonna drink Red Bulls every time I go. <laughs> probably really bad. I'm probably not sleeping the whole, this whole night, but I think it was worth it. But just, you, you got the dub. Yeah. You got the dub. Yeah. I'm so happy because I beat my demon Nitro. I got a lot of PR wins, so Nitro, Syro, AC, right? Yeah, and this was definitely not one of those uh, it wasn't Wednesday good. night fights that's like, oh, not that much people came out or whatever. Like, yeah. you had to run through a very hard bracket in top eight. Oh my god, yeah, no, because like I had to play first a Mega Man, who was not, very, yeah, like, and that's not fun. For that's Luigi. not that's not fun for Luigi. I think Elegant thinks it's like one. It's, Elegant thinks it's like one of the top two worst matchups. So I was like, oh god, and then and right he was solid too, and, right? So and like, like even after that, like I had to play Nitro, who I literally always lose to. Yeah, I mean conquering one of your demons into like. Going right in, riding that momentum into winning the whole yes. tournament must feel really great for you. I feel so good. I feel so <laughs> happy. But I just want to like, oh, because I haven't won a local this entire like this entire game until now. Because I, I always got so close. Yeah. yeah. I, I've been on winter side grounds before, but I've always like I could choke it. But this feels good, dude. I'm so happy. But like, now I just need to go ham. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry if I'm too hyper, everybody. I'm just like I have at least like 800 milligrams of caffeine in my body right now. <laughs> And, it's, and it works. You're about to go to med school, man. You got the milligrams I on know. point, this dude. Is my Look last, at this guy. This is my last month of Smash, and I finally win a local. <laughs> Let's get it, man. I'm, I'm proud of you. Good stuff. I just thank you, man. I want to go ham at Evo. Dude, ah, I could actually make a tweet saying, guys, I won something in Ultimate. <laughs> I've been waiting to say that just once. Hey, man, you've been on the grind. You've been training really hard, uh, grinding on offline and on the Wi-Fi's, right? The wi is a great resource. No, it definitely is. I'll say this. Wi-Fi... 
is good is good practice, but you shouldn't rely on it for your sole practice. Correct. You, you correct. should only use it. Do if not you do have not to. do not rely on it for execution. Rely on it for info. So when it comes to matchups and situations, you can be aware of things that are you need to learn. If you're not strong in like certain matchups, play those matchups online. It's completely fine. It's the awareness of what those characters can do, and what is safe, what is not safe, and that's fine. And just make sure before you go to tournaments that your execution's on point. You know right, what I mean? you, you practice offline, make sure all yes, your play, play frame tight play. combos yes, and all that. Exactly, because if you are too used to execution online, you're gonna flub everything. Right. I was, I was, I, used, I would flub a lot of zero to death if I were if I didn't play offline the same day. So I'm just, I'm very happy. I finally did it. I'm not sleeping, but yeah. hey, man, <sighs> you, get, you got the dub, man. So that is all for us tonight. Um, I'm glad you guys enjoyed this top eight, Mr. Kong Kong's first win. Oh my God. I'm sorry, you're good. Wait, Kong, well, I have one one question, one question before be before we send the great people to chat to a very special place. Are you are you back? I'm, I I might just be back, dude. I, you might just be I, back. I might just be back. I might just be wearing that tank top at Evo. All right, all right. And remember, SS oh, the man. best. SS the best, baby. SS the best, baby. Two skies. Let's take you to the skies. Yeah, that's yeah. where we're going. Man. That's where we're going, man. That's where we're going. This guy, I have so much energy. <laughs> all right.